hospitality of the people and the country looks beautiful and also the food which is quite for me quite important was very very good and I, I had no idea about that and uh, we came down I remember it was night we came to this little fishing village called Gimishlik in uh, on the Bodrum Peninsula uh, the next day we we walked around drove, drove around and find a spot where it's supposed to be to build the first phase of the Bergwen Gimishlik project and uh, uh, pretty amazing actually and uh, two years later it was there all the 34 first houses and I was so excited so I bought one of, uh, one of the houses myself so I'm very happy and I'm very very happy that I have found a lot of good friends in Turkey and uh, more and more going to I had discovered the, the countryside of the Bodrum Peninsula and made a lot of friends so, well, I'm happy. I'm half Turkish now. <laughs> As I myself has bought his house in, in Turkey in my own project in Gimishlik, I have. Uh, you might wonder what you what you what are you doing there actually? But uh, of course, you can take a bath. You can go swimming, swimming in the in the, in the open sea. You can drive around in a boat. You can hike, but. Most of all, so far, what I've done is I have discovered uh, the, 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 the local restaurants and I've made a lot of friends and uh, uh, well, I'll try to enjoy the, and to, to inhale the, the Turkish culture and uh, I think that will, the Turkish people are very friendly so it's very easy to to, to make friends there and uh, also the Bodrum Peninsula is very well known for to be a resort so everybody who comes to Bodrum is very much into relaxing and uh, to, have a, to have a good time so and so do I so um, well it's become one of, my, one of my favorite spots in the world to go to Bodrum to build the Scandinavian dream of a Mediterranean village. That was my conceptual architectural idea. And I think we succeeded because it's, uh, we put the houses on the hill, on the slope, as they have been there for ages, forever. And, um, and uh, now in the second phase, we have tried to do them a little bit more advanced architecture-wise, and we also have got permission to do that from the mayor, mayor because he he liked our ideas and so on. So now we have done round houses, which I very much like myself, and a very nice long stretch house and two floor heights and double height ceiling, which is also one of my favorites. And this project was quite big, so I asked two friends of mine, two architect friends. One is very famous, Jet Wiengård, and uh, asked him to design houses, uh, a house as well, and so he did. And I also asked uh, my other friends from Norway, Jarmund und, and Wiegsnes, to design a house as well. And the houses now we have done for the second phase are uh, built in concrete and uh, uh, with uh, light concrete blocks and they are done in a very traditional way. You have the plaster on the inside and on the outside. And we have a very, very nice uh, local stone, which is kind of travertine, and um, which we have on all the flooring, and we have shutters. And, um, well, they are very well built, actually, so uh, high standard. and. Um, all the tops are made of marble, local marble, and uh, so they're done in a way we use to be combining the traditional materials and a way of building in sites like this, but also the this, uh, the way that we are planning houses in Scandinavia, which is, for instance, the open the openness from the kitchen towards the living room and that you also have uh, 
outlooks to the view all the time and also the combination between the interaction between the inside and the outside. That's very important because you, you spend most of your time out in the garden or out on the terrace. So the connection between inside and outside is very, very important. And I think we have succeeded actually because uh, uh, that what, that's what life is about in, in Bodrum, to be outside. All the materials we are using are, are local, so we we don't use any strange materials or any strange construction ideas. So we 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 are we are using well-known construction ideas and well-known local materials that the builders are used to work with. So we try to eliminate all the difficulties that you can, um, because when you build in a foreign country, you're not really used to to, to the local tradition but we but we I think we, we try to elim eliminate that by using local techniques and local materials but doing them in using them in a contemporary way and uh, I think that's that has been that has been quite important for us to do that in the first fight I was felt so in love with the village and you know, on my own project so I we decided to buy our own house and as I'm the architect, I have the opportunity to be one of the first ones to choose to choose a house. So I choose that house, and we have now also created a very nice garden outside. And one of many of my closest friends lives has become my neighbors. So Yuki is there, and Felix is there, and uh, and uh, Pontus is there, and. Maria is there, and so, so they're all my friends, and Isan is there, and Uluch is there, and uh, the Esplanade brothers are there. So, and my architect friends, Nils Nilsson and his wife, they're there. So, yeah, it's a lot of friends. It's quite nice, actually. I didn't thought of that that should be nice, but it is. When you when you're actually there, it's uh, it's very nice to have a lot of a lot of friends around, walk over, have a drink in the afternoon. Together we can walk down to the restaurant, take a morning swim in the pool. So, so yeah, so the the village has have become quite lively in a short in a short time actually. So I'm gonna go this for Easter one this year again. I'm going to spend my Easter holiday there.